Welcome to our study on the Beatitudes, these essential spiritual practices that equip us to be disciples of Christ for such a time as this. I'm Pastor Janet Helner Burris of the Christian Church of Wilkinsburg, and we're delighted that you have chosen to join us for this study today. Today we are looking at the Beatitude Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Notice that Jesus did not say, blessed are the weak, which is the way our culture thinks about meekness. Our culture says that those who are meek are doormats, wallflowers, quiet people. But that's not the way the scripture looks at the spiritual practice of meekness. Far from it. Meek people are strong people in the Lord. Do you know who the most meek person was in scripture, according to the Hebrew scriptures? It was Moses. Moses, who stood up to Pharaoh and said, let my people go, not just once, but many times over. Moses, who led the children of Israel through the wilderness, despite their murmuring and whining and complaining and outright rebellion. Moses, who takes the children of Israel right to the doorstep of the promised land, but doesn't go into the promised land himself. Instead, he equips the next generation to go into the land, and then he goes up on a mountain and dies. That's the most meek person of the scriptures according to the Hebrew Bible. No one would say that Moses was a doormat, a wallflower, or a quiet person. So we need to understand what meekness means in the context of scripture. The great Greek philosopher Aristotle said that meekness is the mean between being excessively angry flying off the handle with our temper, and never getting angry. And so a meek person has their anger under God control. They don't lash out at other people, and they also do speak up when it is an issue that God is angry about. That takes a lot of soul strength to have that kind of meekness. Thomas Merton, the great Catholic contemplative of the last century, said that we could replace the word meekness with non-violent. So to use the teaching of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., a meek person is strong enough to refrain from the violence of fist, of using their body to push their way and force their way, they refrain from the violence of the tongue, of hateful words and hateful speech spewed out over social media, and they are also strong enough to refrain from the violence of the heart, of those hateful, fearful, anxious thoughts we have about people who are different from us. Those who are meek are strong enough to examine their thoughts see which ones are hateful, harmful, and wicked, and to confess those thoughts and then replace them with the thoughts of Jesus, what the scripture calls the mind of Christ. Jesus indeed is our supreme example of meekness. He had the soul strength to go to the cross to die for us, that we might be able to live this kind of life as described in these Beatitudes. 